Hi, hello and welcome to another Excel training video. My name <coughs> sorry, my name is Ken Atagari. Now we've been working with ActiveX combo boxes. In the previous lesson, we had a situation where we created a drop-down list using the ActiveX control combo box. So this ActiveX control was able to pick values from the values here. That's these ones here. But what about the situation where we want to, for example, make reference to the value within the combo box? You know, typically in Excel, if you've got a value in a cell, let's say uh, CT1 here, CT1, you could do your VLOOKUP equal VLOOKUP. You can look at this one. And refer to all of this oops what did I do wrong let's see oops uh, look up. column index number two uh-huh what did I do wrong now again okay sorry right okay so you know this value whatever value you have here is looking at this value but unfortunately that doesn't work with combo boxes so you cannot let's say I want to provide a value here for example if you look up I cannot look into this combo box space it is not a cell how do I go about solving this challenge now quite easy simply use the property tabs of this combo box you can get to that by going over to the developer ribbon go to design mode click on your combo box um, right click go over to properties scroll down to lists so link cell and this is where you want to be placing the values that are called up in your combo box so at this point in time I want to place those values in let's say I'm going to place them in L L I'm going to be placing them in same shit 5 L mm, let's put it in L4 yep L4 okay so now I exit design mode. So see the one. You can see the, the, the values are being placed here now. So with this, I can then create my VLOOKUP to say equal VLOOKUP. Look at the value that is being called by the combo box within this array the second column false so now I come over here change the value to 2 you can see city 2 is going to offer water world as a event type I can change city 5 city 5 is offering space traveling as the event type Right, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm going to make another video where I'll show you how to edit some of the properties of the value within your combo box. Join me later. Thank you.